I think it's better to call a spade a spade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I want to state from the outset that uh, NGOCC has outlived its usefulness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not the NGOCC of uh, oh, Mutukwa. Glad is Mutukwa. This is not the NGOCC of Wo Winner. This is not the NGOCC of the leaders I knew who used to nurse young kids mm -hmm. to grow into politics. I was nursed by the Wo Winner, Wo Mutukwa. Those were the leaders. And uh, today, what we see, we see a pseudo political organization. I'm here to state from the outset that uh, when the Minister of Finance signs funds for governance, mm -hmm. our portion which goes for governance, specifically for women, mm -hmm. should be channeled not to NGOCC. We need to sit with the Minister and discuss how, if there are well-wishers out there who channel funds through the Minister of Finance, it should be channeled specifically for politics for women. Mm -hmm. Malawi has done it. Malawi had a, a forward-looking uh, women's movement, and they openly went to the cooperating partners and said they were going to fund any woman, and fully. You can't fund me with two flyers and a t-shirt saying, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a female presidential candidate, <laughs> but you give me a t-shirt that, a, a, a sticker which says, NGOCC will support all vice presidential running mates, but I'm a, a female presidential candidate. <laughs> you understand? It means they have outlived their usefulness, yes. and we need to understand that. Yes. I, I personally have come a long way. And I, I don't. I, I am happy. My colleagues have come to find out that the organisation is moribund, mm -hmm. and therefore it doesn't serve it's our interests. Mm -hmm. It's not just about us politicians. No. I was expecting that when Feluna was abducted, and uh, you members of the press put it in the field that. <laughs> She had left a small child, mm -hmm. a, a, a young lady, mm -hmm. 33, who needed personal assistance. Mm -hmm. I was expecting the movement to move in and help with giving particular care to her, no, or come out in the open and try <coughs> to find out who had done it. I think you know what happened. Mm -hmm. I had to step in and organize medical support for Nasirele. Where was the NGOCC? Mm -hmm. Is NGOCC just available for those of us who wear lipstick? Mm. Is NGOCC just available for those of us who walk in the corridors of power? Mm. Is NGOC, isn't it supposed to be a grassroots movement mm. as demonstrated by Dr. Emily Sikar's work? Mm. That, those are the women's organizations yes. that we want in this country. Mm. So, for me, I want to tell the donors if they come to you and say they are getting money for politics please it's for themselves yes. keep your purses zipped as far as the portion which says support to women in politics is concerned because i have never seen it here i am an example i've been running as presidential candidate there are moments when they even come to me and say can you be a running mate to this one? I, said, but I thought that your agenda is to prop up women politicians. That's what happened to me in 2016. The NGOCC came to me and said, look, we want you to be a running mate to... <laughs> so I said, no, your agenda is different. You are supposed to prop me up. So I think that uh, it's very important that... Uh, for me, the selection, the, se the selective behavior mm -hmm. is something that I've never seen. I will not talk about myself mm -hmm. because it will not be fair. I would have expected them when they, the police were hounding me out of bed when I was sick for them <laughs> to give me a call, find out what was going on. Mm -hmm. But I don't expect it. And they don't expect me to, to, to say anything else because I think... I told them clearly that their agenda was misplaced. Mm -hmm. If the agenda is to improve women representation, 
they should even have supported the amendment of the clauses in 2021, which were proposing proportional representation for women. Mm -hmm. But who was at loggerheads with the proposals? It's NGOCC. Mm -hmm. What was in there? There was a request that there should be proportional representation, which would favor women and youth. Sure, any mother should have jumped on that and be clear of whatever they thought was not good enough. There was also a, a, a request that we should have proportional representation in political parties. And you would have seen a lot of ladies <coughs> who would have stood in political parties being filtered into parliament. Tanzania is way ahead of, of us, they were behind in 1990. Mm -hmm. South Africa came on the scene, Malawi. Malawi. And, and everywhere you go, it's a women's movement that clear this, this path for leadership. But you know, to parliament to represent their views without asking us as to what mm -hmm. we think, mm -hmm. without calling the honorable lady members of the house mm -hmm. to ask them, where are we? Why is our speaker behaving like this? Mm -hmm. What can we do? Maybe they could have discussed behind the uh, closed doors, but uh, to completely get out of step, I think that we, as the political leaders in this country, feel that this organization is moribund, it should be scattered, and uh, I'm calling the international community, those especially Norway, USID, mm. European Union, who like to pass funds through the Minister of Finance. By the way, the money don't come direct, they go through the Minister of Finance. Mm. And I'm asking the Minister of Finance that uh, this is notice, mm. that any, uh, governance funds related to women movement should not be collected because we don't know who takes the money, what they use it for, how they use it for, how they account for it, we are not aware of that. Thank you very much. And again, I'm